the past few months, we've been focused mainly on augmented reality, and that's what I'll be talking about today. So what is augmented reality, or AR for short? Basically, it's placing virtual content on top of the real world. I'll show you a few, like, a few examples. One of the most popular examples of augmented reality that most people have probably used is Pokemon Go, where virtual Pokemon are overlaid on top of the real world as seen through your camera feed on your phone. Another common example that you may have used if you've either used the Pixel Playground or Snapchat or Instagram filters is taking selfies with augmented reality uh, content. Some other useful tools include Google Translate, where you can overlay translated text on top of a foreign sign. And navigating a city can be really useful with walking navigation and a really awesome fox to help guide the way. So in all of these examples that I listed, they had one thing in common. And that was that the augmented reality experience was in an app on a mobile device. This is the most common way people experience augmented reality today. Because most people carry on a mobile device right in their pockets 24-7. And these mobile devices have the hardware necessary for enabling augmented reality. Over 990 million phones and tablets supported augmented reality at the end of last year. And this number is only growing. The number of AR apps, or apps that support AR features, has also been growing with the release of AR Core and AR Kit. AR Core is Google's platform in, for enabling and building augmented reality experiences on Android devices. And ARKit is the iOS equivalent. So you might be wondering, where does the web come in with all of this? And that's a question my team has been trying to experiment and prototype to find answers to. For the past year, we've been working on something called AR WebView. AR WebView is a lightweight library that enables AR on web views. A web view is an embeddable web browser that you can embed into your native iOS or Android apps. And inside that web view, you can build AR experiences just using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and any web framework that you love. So why did we build AR WebView? First, it was an easy path to enabling AR experiences in non-AR focused apps. For example, most native ad SDKs are already built using WebViews to display ads in many apps. And enabling AR in those WebViews means that brands can easily turn these experiences into awesome AR experiences. The streamable nature of content via the web means that you can push AR content updates separately without needing your app to be up updated in the App Store. And all, you, all we would need is to point our web view to a URL and then push changes server side. This also allowed us to develop cross-platform experiences really easily. Um, using one code base and web technologies, we could build an experience that worked on both Android and iOS devices. And finally, Air WebView has minimal size impact. Our Android binary came out to around 47 kilobytes, and that was before we even tried to make that smaller. So you can have AR experiences in your app without requiring a massive binary to deliver that. AR WebView also leverages the power of web technologies. For example, in this demo, we're using HTML-based responsive 2D UIs and placing this 2D plane in a 3D space. 
And the transitions that you see, like that box sliding open, is just a CSS 3D transition. There's also a lot of mature and widely known dev tools for web development, such as the Chrome debugger, to help make these experiences a lot easier. All of the features we support include the ones that ARKit and ARCore enable, such as six off tracking, hit tests, and tracking for planes, images, and faces. If you haven't heard of some of these terms before, six off tracking basically means tracking in six degrees of freedom, or in all three directions and all three axes. So if you place an object in AR, you can move closer or further away or walk around it, and it should appear like that object is still in the same place. Hit tests are an AR system's way of surface detection. So for example, on the left, the stormtrooper looks like it's standing in the room with you. On the right is a face tracking demo built using 3JS, which is a JavaScript library that enables you to build um, 3D graphics and animations on top of WebGL. So how did we make this work? Air WebView uses two layers that are synchronized frame by frame with each other. The top layer is a transparent WebView where you can render the virtual content that you create. Underneath it is a native layer that's rendering the camera feed and also responsible for the tracking. And the two layers are communicating with each other so that the virtual content stays in sync with the real world content. And it's a super simple concept, but this creates the illusion of augmented reality. That's the final product that you view through your phone. This architecture also leads to certain limitations. I want to emphasize that Air WebView doesn't enable AR in the open web. That's what Brandon's talk focused on uh, through the WebXR device API, which is super exciting, and I can't wait for that. Air WebView is only enabling AR in a WebView, which must be displayed inside a native application. We also require web rendering and this two-layer synchronization, so that means we'll never reach native speeds. Virtual content being on a different layer from the native content with the pixel data means that we also don't support advanced camera blending effects yet. Despite these limitations, we found that there was a ton of use cases in which this became useful. And we built one quite recently. That was pretty awesome. So how many of you here got to attend or watch some sessions from Google I.O. that happened a couple weeks ago? Awesome, I see a few hands. So there was a lot of augmented reality features and releases that were announced. And something was announced that was built on AR WebView. And that was a feature in the Google I.O. app called Explore I.O. This is a new addition this year. And whenever you're at a huge conference like Google I.O. or any big event or music festival, it's really hard to find your way around the venue. You're in a new place, there's a ton of people, and the usual way you would find your way around is you'd locate a map, and you'd find where you are on the map, and then you'd have to find where you need to go, and then you'd have to map out a route to get there. But with Explore I.O., users could just look through their phone, see points of interest, such as their next talk, or the closest restroom, or most importantly, the closest food source. So how did we build this? First, users had to scan a map at the conference to localize themselves, and this used image tracking. They could look through their phones to then see the points of interest that were anchored to locations around them in the real world. Tapping on the pins would open up a more detailed description that was updated throughout the day, depending on what talk was next. They could also filter these pins by restrooms or their schedule of events or the nearest ch uh, charger station. And finally, we also included a ton of Easter eggs in this experience. 
If you tapped on certain pins at certain locations, you would activate location-specific AR filters. You could take photos with them and then share them on social media. So Explore.io was a super awesome use case in which augmented reality could be both useful and delightful. So now I'll show a live demo of AR WebView, and hopefully this goes well. Um, so just like stretch out and chat amongst yourselves while I get this set up. All right, okay, so hopefully this works. First I wanna show you what I'm looking at in case you can't see behind this tall white podium. Um, so this is just my normal camera on my phone. And I'm looking at basically an image on a sheet of paper. I printed it out several times just in case I lost one on the way up here. <laughs> so it's just a simple image on a piece of paper that I printed out downstairs. And also, if you haven't watched Avengers Infinity War yet, this is not the new one that just came out. This is the old one that came out a year ago. Um, this is a meme from there, so hopefully this works. So yeah, on that piece of paper is augmented reality. Awesome, thanks so much for coming.